honestly, I'm gonna go with that. I don't know what those uh, faces are. Like. <laughs> Fun fact, he cannot actually be pushed off yet. I've tried many a time. Alright. Let's try the kick stuff. Alright, not bad. You know, I think actually uh, one of the reasons why I'm... I think I mentioned this before, but yeah. Um, one of the reasons why I'm so tempered when it comes to uh, losing fairly consistently is actually because of Dark Souls. That thing just absolutely destroyed my... Uh, I don't know. Stress? I guess you can say? I don't know. It doesn't make much sense when I said that now, but yeah, like... I don't really uh, worry about things as much anymore because I've been through that hell. Ow. Yeah, like uh, the from software room definitely kind of like helped to temper my mood about uh, various things. Where you like, okay, you can accept your deaths, or you can pout about it for a good half an hour and then not decide to play the game. But you'll be missing out on a very interesting experience, and you'll probably grow as a person from it. Yeah, I almost uh, approach uh, video games like from a little. <laughs> I guess you can call it almost a philosophical or religious standpoint. Like, it's not really about uh, playing the game. It's about uh, becoming the a person you want to be through the game. Like, you seek almost enlightenment through it. Kind of a... I don't know. I see no difference between the player and the character. Like, they, whatever you're controlling on screen, be it like a small cube that's trying to avoid spikes while epic music is playing in the background, or uh, you're playing as a sword-wielding monster or nightmare-killing uh, badass like this guy here. Um, yeah, like, it, it's all the same, really. It, you're about trying to accomplish something, and you'll be become a better person as a result if you just try to stick with it. It's like a small one, since more controlled. Ow. Holy crap! Okay, don't get hit by exactly what I just said.
Oh, come on. Really? Fun fact, the sword that he uses is very reminiscent of the Drake sword from Dark Souls. Just, uh, recolored a bit. Okay. Mm. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna start farming Bloodstone. Chunks. Because I need to get a bit stronger and improve my weapons because I'm not doing enough damage as it is currently. Uh, just slightly less damage uh, display. Changes from uh, 1232. Pretty much the same. Huh. Yeah, twin bloodstone shards is what I need at the moment for when I get the Shigage. And yeah, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna spend a little bit for this. So farming, feel free to skip when you're on YouTube. Actually, was something I need now. Cool. Oh. oh, I'm just happy that we're actually able to get Fabled this season. I was kind of worried that we were going to run out of time. Stop it. Oh, I'm almost out of blood vials. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, I only have 11 grand total, so yeah. That definitely ate through a lot of my stuff. Awesome. Don't you run off the cliff, I need you alive so you can your body. Uh, the season is going to be ending in like about a week or so. So yeah, that's fun. Oh. Yeah, we managed to squeak on by. Squeak. 
We gone by and get the stable. I love this gun, by the way. It's Abilene. Oh, so good. Okay, what is with me not connecting with a lot of my things? Alright. I'm gonna get out of here. And that's my run for the uh, Bloodstone Chunks. Usually I get more because I have higher um, chances of actually finding them than Arcana. Because my discovery right now is only 103, I think. For my other character, it's like 10... Actually, uh, 210. Yeah, I managed to boost it up a lot. So yeah, I need to do, uh, I need to do things. I need to do so many things. Alright. Tell you what, because I'm actually going to... Uh, not end stream yet, but I'm going to uh, do the grinding off screen just so I can get it over and done with and you guys don't get too 